How do you do? It's Lukey Poo at Coon Truck and RV, your favorite little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, my sisters call me Charlie, and my 23 nieces and nephews call me Lukey Poo, but you can call me anytime at 440 Ohio RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering a warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2003 Pleasure Way Excel TS with 86,950 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2003 Pleasure Way Excel TS. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. We're gonna go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you may have. You can stay with us here in small town Sherwood, Ohio at Crystal Fountain Park. That's our historic venue and campground we have here in town. We'd love to have you give this a good shakedown before you head off for parts unknown. Got a mixture of hard surface and carpet flooring in here. The hard surface makes it easier to keep clean. Got about 73 and a half inches here. Headroom in the main part of the coach. Fantastic fan, runs on the coach battery system. Gonna act like an attic fan at night or an exhaust fan for your kitchen and bathroom. Easy to get up into this coach here. Got a railing to help you do so. A little stash spot here in the door. Fire extinguisher for safety. Got a porch light switch and a switch for one of your lights as you come up and into the camper van. You can open this window. It does not have a screen. However, there's a rail here for a curtain that you can pull all the way across the front for privacy while you are parked. Got some tuck spots up here for sunglasses, sunscreen, thing, things like that. Levels test, don't consider these gospel. We got our gray, black, fresh water tank and our coach battery system will light up the levels here. Water pump on off, will pump the water out of the onboard fresh water tank. This runs on your coach battery system. Generator start stop, we have an Onan 2800 generator, it runs on gasoline. Run that off the fuel tank, we'll stop running around a quarter tank. This is a fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan technicians, 541 hours on that. Water heater on off, this ignites itself, runs on propane, noxious gas detector. Moving now to the kitchen, got some storage overhead for your goodies there. Nice backsplash, gonna help keep things clean while you're cooking in here. Got some good counter space. Window with a screen, spot for some spices and salt. Single basin sink. AC power here on the front of the kitchen area. Good for your coffee pot or your air fryer. That's our water pump down there. The clear tube is a winterization kit. Another AC plug in here on the front, never have too many of those. Gonna control the fridge here on the front with the dials. This does not have the typical automatic setting. So you're gonna control that there, whether you want it to run, want it to run on AC, so the shore power plug-in, or the generator, DC, meaning the coach battery system, or propane gas, there's instructions in the bottom of the box. A couple drawers. Our furnace, that runs on propane. Some electrical connections. Storage down here below the sofa in the back. I'll show you that in just a little while. Flipping around, microwave here on the driver's side. You got a nice big mirror, help you get ready before you head out for whatever adventure you're having. Nice wardrobe here, hang your jackets. The board on the right will make up the big bed in the back. You have a table leg, table top here behind the driver's seat, table mount in the floor here in the front, also one in the rear. The front seats do swivel. Passenger seat's gonna have a better position due to the steering wheel impeding the driver's seat. Got this rail here on the ceiling. Pull around you, help contain the water inside of this wet bath. Nice mirrored medicine cabinet with some storage. Plug in here for your curling iron. Three drawers. Storage beneath the sink. Then it's gonna drain here into this basin in the floor. Not much of a step up and in. So it's easy to access this little spot to set your soap while you're showering. Got a window with a curtain and a screen and help you exhaust moist air in there. Moving into the back, coffee pot. Do have a craft for that that's in a package. Help keep that safe. Tuck spot here for some of your different goodies. You might want to charge up here with the DC plugins. These are like cigarette lighters. So you can get this as a little charge station. This is going to control the power sofa in the rear here. Another plug-in right there. Power sofa will go up and down. Create two twin beds. It's a really popular setup in a camper van. Allow you to get in and out of bed without crawling over one another. 
thermostat there controls the propane furnace. Air conditioner will run on the shore power plug-in or the generator only. Control that here with the knobs right on the unit itself. We have these removable cushions over here and over here that you use to make up the big bed. Also, the pillows don't take that stuff with you if you don't want to. These seat belts here are for the shoulder belts, two on the back sofa, two up front, so a total of four belts. Window with a screen here on the passenger side. I'm gonna go drop some pictures now so you can see what the sleeping area looks like made up and get some measurements. The jackknife sofa in the upright position measures approximately 20 inches north, south, or front to back in the RV and 81 and a half inches east, west from wall to wall. The driver's side twin measures approximately 72 inches north, south, or front to back and 26 inches east, west, or side to side. The passenger side is just a little shorter at approximately 70 inches north, south. Use the board and removable cushions to make up the big bed that measures approximately 68 to 72 inches north, south, or front to back and 81 and a half inches east, west from wall to wall. Additional storage along with an AC plug-in, noxious gas detector, and electrical panel are located near the floor. The 12 volt DC charging station near the TV has a battery voltage gauge. The front seats swivel with the passenger seat having better positioning due to the steering wheel and cabinet behind the driver's seat. How do you get a phone drunk? Give it screenshots. TV here swivels out to face the front. Got kind of a homemade door, not the cleanest job. A little screw spot there on the front face. Access here to the back and give you some AC plugins. Also DC power here, powered by the coach battery system. DVD player right here. Unlock that door with the little pin there on the left. A little spot for your remote controls. Manuals in here. A little storage spot up top. Nice camper van here from Pleasure Way. One of our most popular offerings here with this Excel series at Coon Truck and RV. Couple little blemishes down here on the cabinets. A little marks here. A little puckering on our wallpaper up top here. All in all, a nice coach. Check this out at truckandrv.com. I'm gonna call this one a seven and a half out of 10. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we have power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt cruise, nice clean upholstery. We have a newer Sony AX5600 head unit here. Storage down below. And some power up here for your devices. I'm not seeing any signs of smoking in here in the form of burns, stains, tears. No cigarette lighters, so while it's tough to say for certain, I'm gonna call this a non-smoker. Alrighty folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2003 Pleasure Way Excel TS. This camper van measures 20 and a half feet bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual awning. We have single rear wheels and the tires have 30, 20 date codes. This motorhome is built on a Ford E350 chassis with a 5.4 liter V8 engine with 86,950 miles. A little boo-boo down here on the door. A couple little rock chips there. Actual alloy rims on this one. A few little nicks here and there on the striping as you'd expect. Overall, nice looking unit. Back of our refrigerator, furnace exhaust, coach battery. It's easy to get up and into this camper van. Gotta watch your head a little bit as you come up and into it. Nice big storage bay here. This will, this will allow you to plug things in here beneath the awning that are powered with AC or 110 power. Around the back of the camper van. Air conditioner up top, some storage beneath the sofa. Coach battery disconnect here is this red key. This is our awning center rafter and crank. Coach battery disconnect will disconnect you to prevent parasitic draw. We'll also disconnect the charging systems to the coach battery system, which are the shore power plug-in, the generator, or the alternator while you drive. Got two more AC plug-ins here, so you can plug things in on the outside of this camper. I'm gonna fill your onboard fresh water tank here. It's gonna travel wherever the RV goes. Back of the water heater. Some more storage here. That's a 30 amp shore power cord. Sewer hose storage. 
closer look here at the stripes on the driver's side. Outside shower, keep the mess outside of the camper van. Sewer, gonna pull this first for the black that's gonna let the toilet go. And then the gray here is gonna be the sink and shower. It's gonna wash that clean. Everything's gonna come out of the same port here. City water, you're gonna connect a garden hose here essentially to the camper. That's gonna provide the pressure to your sink, shower, toilet, television. And if you're staying somewhere that has that, connection for your 30 amp shore power cord. The propane tank is mounted to the unit itself. You'll use this gauge here to tell how much is in it. This will shut that on and off if you'd like to do so. Our generator is built into the unit. This is the exhaust for that. That runs on gasoline, the same tank that the engine runs on. It's gonna stop running around a quarter tank so you cannot strand yourself. A couple little chips on the striping. Not stuff you're gonna notice when this RV's driving by. Nothing that affects the fun or usability. Popular floor plan here at Coon Truck and RV. Check this out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers. Mm -hmm.